Hello everybody, it is um, Sunday, April 23rd. As you can see, I'm back at Camp Freedom 2, and um, looks like it had a visitor again. Probably uh, raccoons or whatever, trying to get water. It's been windy and acting like it's gonna rain. Um, today is like overcast and looks like it might rain again. But it's mostly been sprinkling here. It hasn't really been pouring. As you can see, our water catchment has nothing. And um, whatever animal that's been coming here probably should get to try to get water. Has not been getting any water. Um, we have our tire stacks here, and as you can see, I've hauled two more tires that I'm going to be putting here at the camp until I can figure out what to do with them. So I've been bringing um, tires here whenever I can from Camp Freedom One. So we'll go ahead and set it over here and. Um, the plan today is to try to finish up the yurt, at least the shell of it. I'd like to try to finish up the roofing and make it somewhat secure. And then, um, as far as I'm concerned, it's mostly done other than the interior. So, with any luck, um, we, we'll be able to get the yurt um, pretty much completed today other than the interior. It is uh, Sunday, April 23rd, and we are back at the yurt. And um, it actually looks like the structure held up for the last couple days here, even though it was super windy before. Um, the roofing that I had started to put on still looks pretty much intact. A little hole here. But for the most part, it is um, intact for the most part. Just gonna have to secure it a little bit more, fix the walls, uh, try to finish up the whole roofing and consider the yurt done. At least the, um, the outside portion of it. It is um, very overcast today and looks like it might rain. So I'm gonna try to do as much work as I can. Uh, I don't know if you can see and hear the wind here. It is once again pretty windy out here, but um, I'm actually pretty happy and surprised that the yurt remains standing. I've um, brought out more supplies to finish up the yurt, including several more um, tarps we'll be using to finish up the roofing, some more um, ties, tie downs, and um, some um, duct tape, more twine, or and I bought these hopefully clear shower curtain cut liners from um, the Dollar Tree for a dollar each. That's what we're going to try to use for our skylight. So we'll see how that works. Alright, as you can see I've got the um, clear plastic open and now I have scissors. I just went to pick up from Little Blue 2. I um, didn't take my camera with me, but of course I didn't take the camera with me <laughs> when I have an encounter out there. Um, freaked me out. I was walking along and I um, almost stepped on a snake. One of those black ones. I think they're coral snakes. Not coral. Um, I don't know what they're called. They're the black snakes that are all over Florida. But I, I think they're harmless. <laughs> Anyhow, they're all over the place out here. And, um, so just got to be really careful if you decide to come back out here sometime. Um, watch, for, watch your steps because there are snakes. So be warned. Oh, anyhow, um, what I'm planning on doing is, as you see, I've um, opened up the sheet right here. And they actually give you magnets with the sheets because these were um, uh, curtain liners from Dollar Tree for a dollar each. And I'm planning on cutting them to slightly larger than the hole to fit the hole there. So one sheet can do several spots. And that's what the plan will be. So we're going to go ahead and try that before we continue on with the roofing. Right. Originally I had taken the sheet and I was cutting it in half and then I was going to cut it into quarters, which I already did right there because I thought it would fit perfectly to cover this hole. But then what I found out is um, when you start to lay it out, you need a little bit more space so that you can, you know, ensure that everything is covered. So it's actually better to cut it just um, in half hot dog wise, you know, uh, lengthwise. Um, 
so that you can have these extra pieces here to tuck up underneath and tie up. Now, I just got to do that other side, which I might be able to use a small one, and then I have the other big sheet here that I can use to cover this front portion, at least parts of it, depending on how big I want the skylight to be. So that'll be the plan right there. I'm going to go ahead and start to tie and secure that down, and we'll have our first skylight up. Right, we got our first um, skylight up. It's not super clear, but you can see out of it, sort of. <laughs> it lets some light in. I've opted to use like a gazillion zip ties to try to hold it in place. So, I don't know if you can hear the mosquitoes buzzing out here. I'm going to have to figure out what to do about the mosquitoes. I'm going to go ahead and try to put in the other skylight, and then um, probably continue working on the roof here shortly. Alright, I decided to go ahead and add another section of tarp roofing here instead of putting up the skylight yet. I'm going to go ahead and finish putting up that last um, tarp that I have here for the um, roofing and then we'll try to fill the rest up with skylighting. See how it looks. Just thought I'd go ahead and show a problem. Um, I had started to put up the tarp and then was going to put in the, um, the clear skylight but then ran into a snag and had to undo the tarp and now I'm putting in a skylight. But now I'm having a hard time putting the tarp because I can't access the ties. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually undo all that roofing that I just did right there. And then put down the clear portion first. And then on top of that put the, um, the tarp. But I can already see a potential problem when it rains. Water will go down gravity wise. So if it hits this plastic, and this plastic, the clear part, is underneath the tarp, water may run underneath and leak. So that's a problem. What to do, what to do. And you can see it is like crazy windy out here right now. All right, I've um, somewhat secured the uh, skylight, the sky roof, skylight, or whatever you want to call it. We do have the opening in the center, which I'm planning on probably keeping open. Although I might have a cover for it to block the rain. But this will allow for venting. Even though we're not going to make any open fires back here, it may be possible to cook using a um, propane or a butane stove, which is a little bit safer. just need to clear all this area out. And you'll want to have some ventilation so you can have smoke and stuff leave. So that might be an ideal cooking spot right here. Um, I was able to get this part in and put in this other part here. I still have another hole there I need to fill up and some other spots here that need to be filled up. But for the most part, I think we're almost done with the, the roofing. Um, it will leak though because if you look at the way water will flow, water's going to flow downhill. So where it comes underneath, right here, see how it um, goes under here? It'll probably, the water will come and hit this spot and go underneath and drip down here. So this needs to be sealed. The problem I'm having is, you know, sealing the roof because I can't get up there. I have to bring a ladder or some way of um, sealing it. So that is going to be a problem. Water's gonna come running down and then go here. Ideally, this would be tucked up underneath, but I don't have it done that way. So, it may have to be redone or something. But for now, this is this is what we've got. I know it'll leak. I'm, I know it will when it rains. But um, we'll fix. We'll deal with that later. Right. So I got pretty much all the pieces that I brought to put up, but it looks like I may need some more tarp. And even some more um, plastic sheeting here. And we're getting a test, believe it or not. Um, it started to rain. I don't know if you can see the little sprinkles there on the, um, the skylight. So I'm... Um, it's actually pretty crazy windy out here right now. And I'm out at the yurt with the roofing up. Since uh, the structure is mostly sealed in right now, it's actually kind of warm in here. So I definitely need to um, leave the windows area for venting. Otherwise, I can see it getting really hot in here. Um, and you can see we got this big, huge opening here and some holes in the back. So we're going to need to put up mosquito netting and uh, try to seal the structure. 
Uh, the roofing's still not done. I'm going to need some more plastic. I think I'm going to get some more um, sheeting here. And um, try to get the roofing in place. Looks like it flipped over. Yeah, it did, as a matter of fact. So I'm going to have to flip that back. But um, it is starting to rain, so everything's being tested, even though everything's not securely. Um, I haven't gotten everything secure yet because we're not done which kind of sucks, but hopefully uh, the structure will hold long enough for me to actually secure it and make it stronger and waterproof. All right, after a bunch of hassle and stuff, I was finally able to secure most of the roofing on. Just have a couple little spots we need to close out, but for now I'll leave it open. Um, what happened is like when you try to tie the last parts down because you can't access the beams. You can't really uh, punch holes to tie it down. So it's kind of hard. I tried to punch some holes here. But what I ended up doing was I took the corner. Like see the corner of the piece there. And I tied a string. And I ran it out. And then pulled it tight. I had to do that for the end pieces. Because otherwise I couldn't, I couldn't get it to hold down. Now obviously this is not sealed yet. We're going to need mosquito netting. And we're also going to need to patch up all these little holes. Which... I think I'm going to work on a little bit here before I leave, just to make the structure a little bit more secure overall. Um, and then, as far as I'm concerned, it's mostly done. Just need to install some um, mosquito netting along these windows here. I'm going to get the mosquito netting up, and um, I think the yurt is pretty much in business. I did make a couple overhangs here, as you can see under the doorway, as well as to the side. So you can kind of have a little bit of uh, water, keep water from dripping down through the sides here. But we've got to obviously secure these gaps. So that's what I'm going to work on here over the next few minutes and then call it a day and head out. But um, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I think overall cost was less than $20, maybe $30 or so to build the shirt. And um, if you needed it for a survival shelter, it's actually a pretty decent size shelter. The question is whether or not it'll actually withstand um, wind and rain, maybe even a hurricane. But I guess we're going to find out since we're in Florida. I well, thank you all for tuning in. Until next time, everybody, have a great day. All right. I think for the most part, the yard is pretty much done, other than a couple of patch jobs on the roofing and the walls and securing it a little bit better. As you can see, I've tied down most of the panels here. So there's no gaps, although they, I mean, there still is, but they need to be sealed. So I don't know if I'm going to use tape or something to seal that. Or just some more tie downs. Probably going to need more tie downs eventually. But for now, most of the gaps have been sealed. There's a couple little ones here that are still available, you know, openings. Probably have to tape it or something. But there are mosquitoes here for sure. Uh, the roofing still needs to be totally secured. Right now it's not, and there's still holes. But most of it's up, and um, it's letting in enough light right now that it's not too dark or gloomy in here. So I think that's good. But um, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out, and I think if you had to build this from scratch, and you could work full time on it, you could probably put the whole thing up in about two, two days, maybe three days. Um... And it's a pretty decent sized emergency shelter, I think. Question is, um, I wonder if it's going to hold up when it rains. <laughs> so, there you have it, everybody. The yurt. <laughs>